Okay, there is bad news and good news if you are Perplexity users. So let's start with the bad news. Just a few days ago, Perplexity has released a new feature called Perplexity Labs. And I think this feature is really awesome because you can use it to get more variative answers from AI. Now it, it can generate code, it can generate multiple images, and it can even generate a complete website in just a few minutes so overall this new feature is just amazing i've seen many people using it for research many people using it for creation and uh, generating some concept and many other use cases so overall this new edition is just really awesome however there is something that probably did not say on their announcement so in this blog page they're not saying anything about the limit on how many times you can use perplexity labs every single month because apparently there is indeed a limit of perplexity labs even though you're using the pro version of perplexity so it is not here but if you go to the perplexity labs the help center here it is actually mentioned that how many times you can use it every month so according to this page which, which again is from perplexity pro users will receive 50 labs credits every month so it is not a lot it is only 50. now the question is what would happen if you let's say running your credits uh before the next month well definitely your credits will hit zero and you cannot uh, use perplexity labs anymore however there is good news okay this is probably the only good news of this video and basically as far as i know in perplexity they're not like uh, forcing you to wait the next month or the next billing cycle to get the extra 50 credits so you just need to wait for 24 hours until a new credit appear and yeah this is actually the way perplexity credits work most of the time you don't have to wait for the next month you just need to wait for 24 hours and let's say tomorrow you should be able to get more credits but the number is of course is not 50 it's like maybe one or two credits depending on how many credits that you have consumed uh, a few days before so that's basically the way it works. It is 24 hour rolling credit. It is not like you have to wait 30 days. You just need to wait for 24 hours. So that is the silver lining. Now, how do you actually know the number of credits that you have left on your perplexity account? Well, it is not quite clear, but there is a simple way to do so. So if you want to know the number of credits for perplexity labs, you can uh, go to this URL. I'm going to type it right here. So it is perplexity.ai slash, and then this is going to be rest user and then slash again settings so you have to navigate to this page perplexity.rest uh sorry perplexity.ai slash rest slash user slash settings hit enter and you see this kind of page i'm going to enable pretty print and the number of credits that you have on your account is listed in this variable so pplx beta limit and i have 21 credits left on my account which is honestly not a lot but it wasn't 2021 20, it's actually yesterday it was 19 or 20 i believe but now it is 21 because again the new credit is renewed every day so you don't worry you don't have to wait for 30 days you just need to wait for 24 hour for a new credit to come into your account so uh, i hope this video is giving you some insight about perplexity labs and hopefully uh, you can use this tool more wisely because again of that limitation and it's not my only opinion that the 50 credits is, is very little because there are some people in reddit for example telling you the same thing 50 credits is just too low and yeah i hope that perplexity will have uh will be more generous but at least for the moment just be wise when you you're using the perplexity labs feature so anyway i hope this video is ins insightful and if you want to see more uh, ai tutorials or ai info in the future then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day